hello beautiful welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys how i corrected the thickness at the end of my locks how i'm going to be loosening it and um, why i am making the correction all right so one of my videos that i made in the past i think i've on braid locks okay yeah it was on braid locks in that video i talked about how long it takes braid pattern to disappear from your locks and i realized that some some people don't really like um the pattern showing at the end of the day so i made mention of the fact that after your hair must have grown out and you still do not feel good with the braid pattern at the tip it is something that you can cut off or not okay like i did not start with braid locks i started with two strand twist and here i am making the correction just because you know i've taken note of how it looks on some people and i didn't like the look so i knew that i am definitely going to be making these corrections and i'm going to be loosening the hair with safety pin as you can see i'm using safety pin because of the the thinness and the sharp edge of the pin okay it makes it easier for me to pull out the strands in a controlled way like if i pull too much of the hair it's not going to budge so if i pull bit by bit it budges and it makes it faster so over time i discovered how to handle the safety pin and more so because i have tried needle before and i found needle dangerous because of the thinness and the sharpness of the needle it poked the hulk out of my hand it was quite painful and i just discarded it and i continued with the safety pin also safety pin is readily available to me there are some people that can use the comb that has this iron sharp end of course you might find that more convenient okay however use whatever it is available to you if you intend to do this okay so in order for you to understand um what is going on here why i'm doing this i need to explain some certain things to you first of all when locks matured they become thicker over the years and this is a sign that the locks are healthy okay so the thickness of the locks actually depends largely on the density of your hair the texture of your hair the size of your part and most likely the starter lock that you started with as the case is in this video today i started with two um, i started with two strands twist and because two strands twist is um <laughs> this is tongue twisting word Two strand twist is looser um, and it becomes thickened after a while and shorter in size okay so most of the time the size the difference in the size along the strand of your log is obvious okay <laughs> and this is what I do not like and the correction I'm making here so what I do here is that I'm going to be interlocking the loose part of the hair at the tip which is going to make the size to become uniform at the end of the day it might not be immediately but by the time um, after a while it will be uniform just like um, the other one I showed you in the thumbnail okay and I'm going to be showing you this of course at the end of the day so what I'm doing now is using my hand to do the interlocking okay and after a while the hole that i'm dipping my hand into will become smaller and that is when i will need to use a tool okay i am using my two fingers to hold the tip of the hair i do not want to braid it because i <laughs> i'm trying to avoid the braid pattern you know from from remaining on the lock so i just hold it and pass it through the hole and you know take it at the other hand of the the hole till it becomes so small that I cannot pass it through the hole with my finger anymore so that is what you are seeing 
So if you started your logs with sister logs, you're likely not to experience the thickness I'm talking about. But if you did not, the thickness is going to largely depend on the density of your hair, the texture of your hair, the size of your parts, and most likely the starter log that you used in starting your logs. So when I said density, I mean how thick your hair appears on your head. Like if you take a bunch of your hair on your head, the fullness of it in the fist of your hand and um, the number of hair strands that you have per square meter, like by size of the hair that you cut, is what is referred to as density of your hair. Okay, and then when we talk about the texture, we're talking about whether your hair is coarse or it is soft. Okay, and this actually varies in degree. Okay, some are very mm, coarse, some are not. And then the third one is the size of your pattern. If the size of your pattern is small, like the tiny size of sister lock, the small size of micro locks, and then the traditional lock, the sizes of the lock, those are the, the size of your part. So if it is big, then your hair is going to get big, like thickened at the end of the day after a while. Okay. And then the fourth one is the starter lock that you used. Like in the case of two strand twist, two strand twist is loosely done. Okay. If this two strands it is loosely done, then it's, you will have chances. The hair strand is a bit relaxed. And so after a while, the movement of the hair out of the strand is going to be more. Okay. It means that there are spaces in between the structure of the lock strand. And so when the hair is retracting back, if it's relaxing back due to, you know, less manipulation, it kind of thickening becomes swollen and at the end of the day it's going to be bigger than the size that you started with and just because when you retie the root of your hair like in the case of micro lock which is usually um, done by the interlocking techniques interlocking techniques is it's, it compacts the hair strand as you interlock your hair it makes the hair strands to be in place the structure is tighter and it is stronger than what you started with it is going to appear smaller in size compared to what you started with even if it is braid lock okay so at the end of the day by the time the strand of your loss grows out the difference in size is going to be obvious okay the bigger your hair is the strand of your hair is the more obvious the difference in size is going to be so it is very normal for you to become worried after a while you know when your locks are looking weird so what i'll say is that um it takes a while for your locks to become fully matured and until it becomes matured it's going to be looking weird it's going to be looking somehow okay as for me i have a particular look that i'm after when i feel it is okay i just try out one and if it works i then will work on the rest of the locks okay so now i'm done i interlocked to the tip of the locks <laughs> And so this is how it's looking now compared to how it was before, you know, by the right hand side. And that is it. <laughs> all done, all repaired, and it's looking very neat. Except if you started with interlocking techniques, from the first place you know um, that is usually sister lock okay but for micro locks it could be started with anything and if at the end of the day you just want to make you know one or two repairs so you can do something like this okay all right 
thank you guys once again for tuning in don't forget to like the video subscribe to my channel if you love it so stay blessed stay beautiful and i'll see you in my next video